Hey everyone, this is Elias from RevMatch Media and today we're going to take a look at the 2022 Ram 1500 Limited Crew Cab 4x4. Now, yeah, when you have a big name like that, you gotta have something big to back it up. Well, let's go ahead and get started. We get started on the front and we can see yeah, it's kind of hard to miss this guy. So a couple of things, we have a nice big massive chrome grill, uh, which works really good with this blue. It's the Patriot blue color. It looks really nice. At night, it looks black. In the daytime, it's a nice, beautiful, blue, rich blue. And we do have this nice LED headlight here. What's actually really cool about this is, so they, it says Ram LED on this one, but on the inside one, it says dynamic, AFS LED inboard rotation and it says seven degrees and outboard rotation is 15 degrees. Nice little Easter egg there, Ram. So these are gonna go ahead and turn just like it said there when you are uh, turning the wheel. So it's adaptive headlights there, real nice touch to it. And again, we have nice big tow hooks here. We have the front camera to give part of the 360 view of this, we have these nice LED uh, fog lights down here. But overall, this is a nice front end to the Ram. I Typically, I'm not a big chrome guy. I do love their sport trim. But I think with this blue, chrome is definitely the way to go. Well, let's go ahead and see what we have under this big hood. Because uh, there's a little badge here on the side that's hinting at something a little bit different than just your normal Ram V8. We get under the hood and we have the big 5.7 liter V8 Hemi under here. Now this is the e-torque, which basically gives you a mild hybrid system. We're cranking out 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque, including that additional 130 of the electric system. And that drains the, the battery system to give you that additional power. It's really, really good the eight speed transmission in this is nice as well smooth uh shifts no complaints there uh but yeah i love this powertrain this powertrain uh can really get this big guy going and with that e-hybrid system or that mild hybrid system you are able to you know save some some money at the gas pump uh because it does get a fairly good amount of of uh of miles to the gallon for this big guy. Well, let's go ahead and see what we have in those wheels and tires. We get down to the wheel and tire package and we have this massive 20 inch wheel. Uh, it is wrapped in this Bridgestone tire. We're looking at 275-55 tire. This combination is nice. So first I wanna address the wheel. I love this design. My wife saw it and said, this is classic muscle car wheel design. And I, I, I gotta agree with her. It looks really, really good, especially with, with these kind of like little cutouts here to just add, you know, it's not just a, a, a multi-spoke design, but it just adds that little bit of additional element to it. So it looks really good. And the finish as well, that brushed uh, aluminum finish to it is really good. The tires, nice and comfortable. No, no issues with road noise, very quiet, no complaints there. The grip is there as well. Uh, so a fairly good everyday use tire. Now, the reason why this looks so small, oh, and the brakes, the brakes were really good, especially for a big vehicle like this. But again, going back to why this looks like such a small setup is because we do have air suspension and we do have it at the highest level right now. So this is the, what they consider the off-road two setting, but it is really nice to have this amount of ground clearance, especially, uh, you know, big here in the wheel well, but I can see the airbag suspension right in there. Uh, but it's nice. It's nice to have this available as an option. Uh, and these wheels are pretty awesome too. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have on the side. We get to the side and we can see this thing is big. Uh, so we still have it at the high setting. We'll get to a lower setting later, but I wanna take a look at some of the things. First of all, we have the 
in the front, we have this nice badge, the 1500 Hemi and eTorque, like we discussed, the kind of supplemental or mild hybrid system that this has. So nice, nice little badging there. Uh, we do have the colored fenders covers here, or just kind of this like fender accent here. Again, we have those big wheels, uh, which can look small at this height, but I can promise you they look really good. We'll see them later. We have the Ram badge and we have the limited uh, trim here. With this being the crew cab, we have this massive door. I want to almost say it's almost bigger than, yeah, I want to say it's probably bigger. Yeah, it looks bigger than, than the front doors, but this thing is extremely comfortable and easy to get into. And then we have our nice bed in the back. Uh, it does have a cover, which we'll see soon, uh, but yeah. And just the chrome accents, the chrome, that kind of polished feel. This truck is nice. And we have the big tow mirrors here, the, the bro mirrors <laughs> of, on here. And with the camera system, again, we can see that 360 to make sure that you park this guy and you don't hit anything or, you know, we don't want to damage this Patriot blue color. But yeah, it's really nice. Now, I don't have the key fob with me because there's a couple of, of little secrets with this, which are really nice. So let me go ahead, I'll walk off camera. Now, once I get the key fob, from off the screen you can see that as soon as i get near it i'll go ahead and put my key fob in the pocket i go ahead and grab and it is already unlocked i can go ahead and open up and you can see the step is powered and comes out when you open the door which is nice the only thing though is that the rear does not go ahead and open unless you push the front so yeah it it won't sense it, but the front will. Yeah, I wish it could, especially that trucks are now becoming more family vehicles. It would be nice for us to just be able to open up the door without having to press the front, because that way, if you have kiddos, you can just go straight to the back door. And again, we have that little, little step there, which is nice, especially when this is at a lower height. Now, speaking of lower height, again, we have this at the highest setting. The key fob also has, so I'll go ahead and lock it. The key fob has the option that if I go ahead and I press it twice, it's gonna go ahead and lower this truck down. So right now, again, we are at the highest setting and uh, it is now gonna go down to the entry uh, level so that you can go ahead. Yeah, I'm just kind of pushing it. We're at the low setting and now I go ahead and open and it is significantly lower. I don't even have to really do much, you know, put in much effort to get into the truck, which is nice, especially for older people that want to have a nice luxury truck or for kids. If you want to get them in the truck a lot easier and not have to, you know, lift them up yourself. We get to the back and we have clean classic Ram design. So these taillights are iconic with Ram. So we have those, they look really nice. We have a lot of that chrome from the limited, which is nicely uh, done here with the uh, rear chrome bumper, as well as the exhaust tips. They look really good. The dual exhaust tips look amazing. Uh, nice big Ram here on the tailgate. Uh, and one thing that's really nice with this one is that you go ahead and you push down on that and you have a step. Makes it easy for you to just go ahead and, and step here and then just hop into the bed of the truck. So a uh, nice feature there. And again, you can see it's very, it, it actually takes no effort. It's a little trick to it. You, there is a little trick to it, but it's nice to have that function there. And let's talk tailgates. So this does have the option on the key fob. I push it twice and it will come down. It will come down and it's dampened, but it will not go up. So uh, yes, I wish it could go up, but it doesn't have that option. It's okay though. It's actually not a very heavy tailgate. With one hand, you can easily bring it back up. Now, let's talk tailgate wars. Uh, this one is the split option. So if you push your hand and you push down, it opens up this way. And I can go ahead and pull that handle and it opens up that. This is nice if you're wanting to load something that's fairly heavy. You don't have to throw it because you have this additional uh, tailgate distance coming out to get it in the bed of a truck. It's a nice little feature to have. Makes it convenient uh, for you to put it on this sprayed on 
bed liner that this truck has. Now, this does have the cover in the rear and I can just go ahead and do that. And it is a trifold cover uh, and it has the lighting option here as well as the tie downs, adjustable tie down locations really good because again you're not that you're not having to commit to having something in a fixed location you can put it at different levels there so we have that now let me go ahead and bring this back down and that locks in there put the right side first put the left side first and you're good to go speaking of good to go this has remote start push that twice <laughs> that V8 sounds so, so good. Well, let's go ahead and hop in for a ride. We get inside of the Ram and <laughs> this thing is incredible. First of all, this is typically the setting I have my camera in, but this play, this thing is so big, I look tiny in this, but it's so beautiful. It's crazy how I've reviewed probably seven different Rams and every time I get one, the interior is always different. There's just so many different options and they all look good. That's probably the hardest thing with this is deciding which route I wanna go with. Uh, so let's get started. First of all, the door. The door is spectacular regarding design, you know, the shape, the design, the materials, the finishes, just so, so good. We have this bluish leather feel on the top. We have this cloth, this premium cloth. Yes, I am saying premium cloth. It's kind of an oxymoron, but in, in the automotive world, obviously, because leather is the more premium option, but this looks beautiful. We have the, the aluminum brushed aluminum finishes. We have the Harman Kardon uh, system in this, which just looks the part. It really looks the beautiful part in this. The way that the materials feel as well is unbelievable. It just, it, it's a really great package. It's amazing. And we're just at the door. <laughs> we get over to the, the seats and Yes, it's a it's a brighter interior. Yes, I typically don't like them because they can get dirty. Um, yes, I don't really care uh, if they do get dirty. This looks really really good. Again, we come we come over with that same cloth uh, trim around the seating area itself is leather. The headrest is leather, and it's that that beige or that white white grayish kind of color looks really good uh, and it's almost like a heather kind of gray to it so to speak and we also have the blue on the back of the seats themselves i i just it's the attention to details i mean look at this handle it has it has a, a blue leather wrapped area for you to grab onto and that's only the beginning we get over to the steering wheel and this thing is amazing we have this black wood finish up here. It's, a, it's, like a, uh, it's, it's like a flat wood, but the grain pattern, the pattern in this is unbelievable. We get over to the leather area, surf the surfaces where you actually grab. And again, we have that blue leather with the amazing stitching. It just looks really good. And we have the Typical RAM buttons in the back, which are good for volume and changing your track. I do love the shape of it. It's, uh, I've always loved the way that the RAMs steer and they really feel. At the bottom, we have a little bit more of that wood. It's, it's just, yeah, that's what the limited trim is all about. Just at the steering wheel. It's amazing. We get over to the dash and the dash itself is is covered in that bluish leather. It looks really good. The finish is, is amazing. The speedometer or the uh, gauge cluster is really nice. It's your typical Ram, but it has that blue uh, design to it. My favorite things about this is there's just so much information that is useful. So it's a useful set of information. Uh, you know, with the vehicle info itself, 
you have obviously your your psi for your tire pressure your air suspension level with this it's just really good you know we have the coolant temp the trans temp the oil temp just oil pressure it's just everything that you need to know to make sure that the truck is running optimal especially if you're putting heavy loads in this or if you're hauling heavy loads uh you also have the vehicle info which will give you the summary of that it there's a just a lot of adjustability in that middle screen but you still have your nice analog gauges which they look nice i do love that blue trim in this with that gray color we come over to the infotainment system and we have the 12 inch screen yes we have the massive screen now i've reviewed this screen before but there's a little bit something more advanced behind the screen and that is the uconnect 5 for the first time in ram the uconnect 5 is available on the ram models yes thank you uh ram you can take my money now and <laughs> the reason i say that is because you connect 4 was amazing so that was its previous system but it lacked the wireless apple carplay i got to experience the you connect 5 in the pacifica and i fell in love with that system we bring it over to the ram and that is exactly what this needed so that is the major update with this ram uh, model is the Uconnect 5 system. And we do have wireless Apple CarPlay. We do have wireless charging in this, uh, but it is a really fast system as well. So I, you, you know when you don't realize how slow something is and you thought it was fast? Well, this is definitely a faster responding system. I do love that. And again, massive screen makes things easier. You can, you can go ahead and, and basically customize your buttons on here. Uh, you can choose the comfort, uh settings for you know actually let's turn on the uh venting on these seats because it does have heated seats but as well as venting on them it's a little hot right now so we'll do that uh but yeah there's just so much controls in this and it's easy to use uh it just looks beautiful as well nice big screen uh, and we come over here to the left side and we have all your different modes uh, for for the drivetrain so four high four low for auto and two-wheel drive uh, and we have that shifter that everyone on the internet thinks you're gonna oh you're gonna change think it's changing the radio you're not it's clearly obvious here plus you have these buttons that i love in the back to change uh, your station or your volume but i love this shifter it's very easy to use it's very quick to go from from park to drive as well as reverse and so on so we have that we come over down here and we have our uh, trailer information so we have the trailer steering so this makes us well at least for me i'm not really a i, I can drive but trailers are a whole different animal <laughs> and i give it to you guys that drive trailers big rigs the works you guys are yeah tip my hat to you guys so this makes life easier for us newbies and uh, again we just have your different tow uh the tow haul mode there and we have your air suspension because yeah this has the air suspension and i've definitely been spoiled with air suspension in rams uh so we have that there then we come down a little bit and we have two connections for usb we have usb c and usb a on both so we technically have like four connections there which is nice but and i have a cable hooked up but i don't need it because again like i mentioned we have wireless charging in here and it's actually really good so it really it makes it's tight so you have to really put your phone in there uh, make sure you do position it right so that the pad touches it and does the wireless charging uh, and it's called the ram ram charger <laughs> i see what you guys did there ram so we have that and we come a little bit more uh here and we have some of that wood i was talking to you guys about that black wood with that uh almost like the zebra print on it it looks really good and there's your cup holders are right in here they're nicely stored away which is good right now i have my microphone pack in the other little storage area which is for coins as well what i love about this the ram is all about storage which makes this a great family vehicle i can go ahead and push this back and it will 
it will give me more space up front here. If I don't want the space up front, I can go ahead and just move this forward and it's gonna cover that up. Also, if you have a laptop, that's a good area for you to put it because you can then just go ahead and close this. We get back a little bit more and we have this armrest. This armrest is beautiful. Yes, a beautiful armrest. But again, that's what this limited is all about, is about that luxury beauty in, in a truck. We have the limited badge here commemorating the 10th year of the limited. So 2012 to 2022. It looks really good. I wish they had this just, I wish they said, hey Elias, here you go. You can have this for driving, test driving or reviewing our Ram Limited. Uh, I kind of want that badge. Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to my Ram uh, rep. <laughs> but it looks really beautiful. And again, the, the, the stitching on this is in a beautiful pattern. I love this armrest. It is really, really nice. We get to the back and Dear Lord, is there any, like the space back there is incredible. I don't have my kid's seat right now uh, in here, but uh, typically I do, and I've had it in Ram trucks before. I can tell you it is super comfortable. It is so easy to put his seat in because you can literally get in it, in the truck, in the back, and strap up the seat and you're not uncomfortable. There is plenty of space back there for you to be in it put the seat in, same thing as buckling him in. And he's a little bit bigger now, but when we first had our first Ram, uh, he was a little bit smaller, so I did have to get in with him to buckle him in, but now he can just get in with no problem. And he loves it. It's super easy to get in, especially with the, uh, with the air suspension, we can drop it down to that lowest setting and have the, the floorboards come out and lower you know, the point of having to step in. Amazing. Family vehicle, definitely, because you can easily fit three people in the back and they're gonna be extremely comfortable. There is no fighting going on back there uh, regarding space. So I that's one of the biggest things I love about Rams and why I want to get a Ram because of the space. And the other thing is the storage. So we have not just the storage of the seats because the seats do fold up uh, for you to have some storage area at the bottom, but you also get the storage in those little compartments on the side uh, of the of the Ram uh, back seats, which is nice. And then we have the truck bed itself with this one having the cover on it. It's, you know, real nice to, to have that uh, for any, you know, whether if you have any materials there, uh, whether you're construction, using this for construction, or you just don't, you know, you're shopping and you don't want your things to get wet. It's, it's nicely uh, placed back there and you can also lock it, which is nice. And again, as you guys saw the tailgate, all the different options. Now let's talk performance. This has the big 5.7 liter V8 Hemi in this, and this has the e-torque option. Now we're dealing with 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. Now, because this is the e-torque option, it is a mild hybrid system. And probably one of my favorite things with this is that it does have that eco mode system that it will uh, go ahead and, you know, just give you significantly more uh, performance regarding miles per gallon. You'll definitely save at the gas station. The other thing with this is it is connected to the eight speed auto and we have the four, the four by four system that this has. Uh, let's just say that this V8 sounds really good. Let's, uh, let's have some fun with this. <laughs> yeah, this thing can really get going. Now, what's crazy about this is it does have four microphones in here specifically to eliminate cabin noise from uh you know from the outside world including the engine uh i don't know if i'd want that for this it's nice to have if you're just kind of want to you know want to have something nice and calm but this v8 sounds really good i would say almost pump in the engine sound put that microphone to use and put it in this harman kardon sound system because 
it sounds really good and these things drive like a dream that air suspension makes the world of a difference this does not drive like a truck it drives like a luxury vehicle it's extremely smooth it's extremely quiet it's ex extremely comfortable this thing is unbelievable this is why the ram trucks are really at the top of my list as far as you know getting one if i need a truck full-size truck i'll definitely go ram because of that it just it's an everyday vehicle that if you need to put to work you can definitely put to work it just sounds really good again we have those big v8s uh option and we have again you know this does have the option for diesel with which we've reviewed the diesel ram that's also incredible uh, especially with those miles per gallon that you can get out of it and the power numbers you get with it as well um but the brakes are really good and i love the fact that the pedals you are able to move forward uh you know so that you feel more comfortable but this thing is a dream this thing drives like a dream it is so nice and again those brakes are really good to get this really big guy down but again if you need to get it going that big v8 with that extra torque from the hybrid system <laughs> can really get this big guy going man i have had a blast in this truck my uh, my family has loved this vehicle because again you feel like texas royalty <laughs> you really feel like texas royalty in a truck that color outside is spectacular just every, these finishes are unbelievable it's one of those where it's nice when you see them online of like the options that you have but until you experience these finishes in real life yeah let's just say my father has always been a ford guy has loved ford uh has basically only owned ford trucks i got him in this and he was starting to change his mind he was starting to say hey uh how much uh how much can i go ahead and get for my ford to get in this now again with this it is a little bit on the pricier side so again this is a really high up there regarding price we're talking about seventy two thousand dollars so yeah the way that this one is equipped seventy two thousand so it's a good amount of chunk change uh yeah just be ready for that i think that's probably the biggest thing with this obviously but you do get a lot that's the that's the important thing well guys i hope you've enjoyed my review of the ram 1500 limited 4x4 i have had a blast in this and remember find the right gear see ya